with you. <laughs> she just hit me. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the inaugural, I guess, episode of Expecto Go. Expecto Go. All things Pokemon Go. That's and your boy right here. And Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Um, this is. I'm Sue. And your boy's name is James. This is the Harry Potter expert. I think she's read like. All of these, maybe not even, I'm not even joking, maybe like 40 times. I've seen the movies though. I like the movies. Okay, I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> he has seen the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Um, there's not a lot of information available, right? but I did go on a few websites to get what information we have. Um, Harry Potter Wizards Unite uses state-of-the-art augmented reality technology to reveal the magic all around us, explore real-world neighborhoods and cities to discover mysterious artifacts, learn to cast spells, and encounter legendary beasts and iconic characters along the way. What we can take away from the Wizards Unite website is there are going to be legendary beasts, Okay. we're going to be learning spells, we're going to be getting mysterious artifacts, and we're going to be bumping into iconic characters. Um, I know from the Pokemon Go side of it, Niantic, also the developer for Pokemon Go, is helping with the AR aspect, as um, also with some new features. I think they're combining with WB Games um, and Portkey uh, Games. Uh, so that's coming from... Uh, the Harry Potter Wizards Unite website. Actual website. Mm -hmm. So check them out if you want more information. That's basically where we get our stuff from. Um, you say you had some stuff from Pottermore as well? Yes, I was able to get a little bit more information from Pottermore. They tell us about the mysterious artifacts, the legendary creatures, etc. But they also say that you will build up your very own illustrious wizarding career. So that kind of suggests that it's not just going to be run around catch beasts it's going to be building towards something as right, you know. Right. I found out that Portkey Games is going to be releasing a lot of Harry Potter Wizarding World themed games, some mobile, some console. Oh, sweet. Uh, so Wizards Unite is just going to be the beginning of these new Harry Potter games that we can expect to see from Portkey Games. Stuff that's upcoming, um, Pottermore says that the games will vary from mobile to console games and will feature both new characters and could feature familiar characters at different points in their lives from the Harry Potter stories. As well as the familiar, you'll also be able to visit the new locations and explore new story elements, again, all inspired by the wizarding world. We're not just talking canon Harry Potter books, it seems like we're talking new stories and new characters as well. Keeping it fresh, that makes sense. Uh, so this is, does this get you excited for what the possibilities could come, basically? Yeah, yeah I'm totally excited. So, legendary beasts, what are we going to be doing with them? I'm sure we're not going to be killing them, sure. so do we capture them? Do we have a briefcase like Newt's Commander? Do we, what are we doing with these legendary beasts when we encounter them? When we encounter iconic wizarding characters, are we going to be dueling? Are we going to be teaming up? Are they going to give us tasks to do? Um, yeah. What's going to happen when we run into Wizarding World characters in this game? What are yeah. what, kind, what kind of mysterious artifacts are we going to be seeing and what's their purpose? Is it just kind of a scavenger hunt or is there going to be some kind of a building story as we go along? Another thing that I think is really exciting about Pokemon Go is that it's an international game and sometimes the entire world has to work together on challenges, yeah. right? Yeah, they just had the global event uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they, um, I think we had to catch like three million, uh, three billion Pokemon. I'm sorry, three billion Pokemon, and right. that was that was a weak thing, but it got the world and. I mean, going out catching Pokemon for one objective. So um, I don't think that's too far from what I think Wizards Unite could do. Right. So I want to know what kind of worldwide collaboration yeah. is gonna we're gonna look at. Another thing that I'm very interested in: Are we gonna be sorted into houses? How? Are, what kind of wands are we gonna get? Do we have to have a Pottermore account to, you know, because on my Pottermore I got sorted into Gryffindor and I got a wand and then I also got sorted into the Wampus House for the uh, American School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So, um, what houses are we gonna be sorted in? Is that gonna be regional? Is everyone a Hogwarts? student yeah how are we gonna be categorized and grouped right. because you know that's one of the best things about the wizarding world 
is that you get to identify yourself with a house from Hogwarts. And that's exactly what we do and Niantic has done in Pokemon Go. Um, teams was not a thing actually in the um, in the anime or the DS games. And so what Pokemon Go decided to do was bring in three different teams based on the colors uh, Mystic, uh, Instinct, and Valor. And so like they have that aspect already in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. So they can definitely do that. Now, like you said, it's all about how they're going to execute that. Um, am I going to get a hat? And you're going to choose, you know, from... I think if they're smart, in my opinion, I think they should do it off the, off the cuff. Like as soon as you sign in the game, get started, you should find out your house and go from there. But, uh, I mean, obviously, this is all speculation and stuff. We don't know anything yet. Um, and that won't stop us from talking about it. No, we will not. And that's what we're here for. And that's what we would like to get from you guys. Your thoughts. What do you think? What do you expect? Uh, definitely on this channel, that's what we'll be bringing and we'll definitely dive more into the aspects of uh, Wizard Unite and the new stuff that Pokemon Go and Niantic is bringing. Whether we get more news releases or not from Portkey Games about this upcoming Wizards Unite, we're going to be talking about more, more of our expectations. We're going to be delving into a little bit more of what we would expect to see for legendary creatures, what iconic characters we hope to find, and um, what kind of tasks. Uh, what kind of mysterious artifacts and spells yeah. that we're going to learn. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. So we're going to be talking a little bit more in detail about what we would expect to see in Wizards Unite and what we really hope will be in there. I'll be bringing your uh, Pokemon Go news again. Gen 3 just dropped. They got the new weather feature, new Gen 3 Mons. They got the new gym aspect that they changed up. Definitely going to be hitting it hard with both uh, Harry Potter and Pokemon Go. I'm excited to see what's happened. So obviously you guys, if you like what you see, uh, follow and uh, give a holler at us. We're, we're not doing anything. Yes, put your thoughts in the comments. We want to know what you think and what you expect to see and what you want us to talk about. Until then.